It's not just the business owners that need to understand this. I think employees or a 1099 contractor yes. needs to be aware yes. if all of a sudden they're being shoved in a box that this is not what they signed up for. I think people are sold this bill of goods. Well, you know, you're going to get more money in your paycheck. Well, sure, on Friday, but at the end of the year, you wind up paying a higher tax rate. You have to pay right. a self-employment tax on top yeah. of it's bad. We do have a download for this issue. It's July 6, 2024. Welcome to BizGlitch 188, continuing our six month plus of mistakes we've made or we've seen other people make. And boy, we've seen some doozies. What's the doozy we're doing today, Linda Ray? This is another soapbox that you stand tall on. Uh oh. For I, sure. I love being up on the soapbox. What am I rambling on about today? This is the conundrum of W 2 employees versus 1099 contractors. Mm. Specifically, do you tell your 1099 contractors when and where? Because if so, that's a no no. They are severely misclassified. <laughs> Department of Labor? <laughs> There's a reason why a 1099 is called an independent contractor. They are independent of your rules, your requirements, your work schedule. And we know that a lot of you folks out there, you listen to some knucklehead on Reddit <laughs> with how to save money and lower your costs by making your employees into independent contractors. And this way, you don't have to pony up the money every payroll period for Social Security and Medicare and disability benefits. insurance and health insurance and other benefits. You don't have to get involved with that, but you're violating the law because if you're treating them like employees, then they need to be paid like employees. The thing about this topic is where a business owner might be misguided or they might misunderstand. What do you want help with in your business and how are you going about collecting personal personnel to assist you with this. If you are a control freak, this is not going to work for you. If you're a control freak, you can't have your cake and eat it too. If you want to dictate how people that you hire perform in your business, then you have to have them as employees. Mistakes aren't failures, they're setbacks. But why be set back when you can propel forward faster by learning from the so many mistakes from so many other business owners? Get our checklist packed with 90 glitches for $9 or 180 glitches for $18. Turn those setbacks into comebacks. Visit bizglitch366.com today.